In anticipation of a big gathering in Virginia this weekend, there was concern that it could turn violent and thankfully that did not end up happening. Thousands of gun owners and gun rights supporters gathered Monday at Virginia's capital for a peaceful day to address our legislature that appeared to generate none of the violence feared by some state leaders. You might have seen photos and videos going around on social media. Many demonstrators opposed to proposed gun restrictions openly displayed military style semi-automatic rifles. Others wore orange guns save lives stickers. Um, some had signs like uh, things like come and take it, second amendment sanctuary or uh, one said we come semi unarmed this time, which is a bit of a mixed message there. Um, but thankfully there appears to have been no violence. Uh, we're joined once again by progressive activist Jordan Yule to comment. Jordan, what did you think about uh, the gathering? So uh, first, thanks for having me, John. Um, I, I think that just looking at like the, the, the the reporting and the coverage on this event, it really looked like a bunch of like create a player uh, characters from like a low rent Call of Duty knockoff. Um, you saw a bunch of guys like cosplaying as like troops, uh, people who really thought they were like tougher and bigger than they were. Um, but ultimately, these types of demonstrations are just like these people are just useful idiots for gun manufacturers and their lobbyists um, because. These are then used as kind of cudgels to kind of beat back sensible uh, legislation that could lead to uh, gun violence prevention or just sensible, reasonable restrictions or safeguards on people making impulse purchases. Mm. No one's taking their guns, um, but you know, there, in the future there could be some sort of like law or, or, or rule regarding like you know background checks or how much you can buy and how soon and often and with what frequency you can buy guns or ammo, uh, but these people are just basically hapless stooges for gun manufacturers to blockade that so they could continue uh, increasing revenue. Yeah, yeah, I mean, obviously I mean, there was so much misinformation used to generate this gathering. Um, and what I saw that, that worried me the most was Donald Trump like repeatedly, like he tweeted as they were like gearing up to start it, just like USA, USA in all caps. And he was talking about how they're gonna take away your rights. Like there's concern that some of these people might start some violent incident. And Donald Trump appeared to be trying to encourage that to happen. But the way you described it right there, I think is so accurate. Like I might think that like dressing up like a barbarian and wearing a broadsword is cool. But like, I don't actually think that makes me look tough. And there's this is the only form of cosplay that they really do think is cool. Like that you wear like a skull bandana, and it's like, hey, it's it's like that character in Modern Warfare. But you're not that person. Like, I don't the, the lack of self awareness. I think swords are cool. I don't walk around with a sword. I expect that minimal level of self awareness. And these people, they craft an entire identity around being able to possess a gun and try to intimidate people with it. Right, yeah, it's people who, who for the most part probably could not even pass a physical fitness test to become a mall security guard, have convinced themselves that they're the last thing standing between uh, us and tyranny, uh, that they go out and put on their like cosplay gear and, and pretend they're troops. Yeah, and, and you know, like, uh, so obviously we're to some extent joking around, but, but also that like you could strap on an assault rifle and put skulls and, and stuff like that. And, and not just think that you're tough, but think that you're the good guy in this. That like you pretending to be a soldier to get in people's faces, like that you are on the right side of history. And as the, the, the ultimate example of this, I want to show you this little bit of footage of the InfoWars armored vehicle rolling down the block. Okay, so and again, that he like they believe they're the good guys. They're rolling down the block in a vehicle that they have no reason to have, shouting about how they're gonna crush tyrants under their heels because the people of Virginia voted in support of reasonable gun control. Yeah, um, I mean, Alex Jones is just he 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 loves 
theatrics and optics. This is his thing. He's just like, you know, kind of the conspiracy equivalent of, of a professional wrestler. Uh, this is all kayfabe for him. But I yeah. think one one other clip that was circulating that people should definitely go check out, Sebastian Murdoch of, of Huffington Post confronted Alex and asked him to talk about how he has been forced to pay the, the families of Sandy Hook victims, that Alex had led a crusade uh, against and has smeared continually and claimed that never happened. It was a false flag. Alex obviously had nothing to say about that. Um, really good clip. So Sebastian Murdoch, great job of Huffington Post. Thanks for watching The Damage Report. What if you could protect yourself on the internet for the price of a cup of coffee a month? Well, if you head to nordvpn.com slash TYT, you'll be able to connect up to six devices to NordVPN's military-grade encryption for $3.49 a month. If you go now, they'll even throw in a month for free. Go now.